Hey, man. Hey, buddy. Good uh, day. You guys got premium? Fresh out of premium, but we got 89. Uh, just, just give me what you got. You got it. Uh, where's your filler pump? I think, I think it's on the other side. Oh man. It's not, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fit, man. Come on, like we. No, we can. I, we can make this fit. It's all the way over here, man. I don't, I don't think it's gonna reach. You don't got another one of these over on this side, maybe? I don't, I don't think so. This is rubber. We could stretch yeah, it. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just stretch it. It's almost there. Hold on. You pull. I'll push. All right. We can get this. All right. I don't want you to have to move that car. I know it's expensive. Okay. You good? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Got that more. It's getting there. It's getting okay. there. Hold on. Yeah. Get it? No. We'll get there. That's great. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. This episode is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is an RPG game that has taken the mobile gaming landscape by storm. Almost 10 million players worldwide have already downloaded the game in just three months. It has great graphics, strategic gameplay, huge boss fights, an amazing storyline, and over 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize. What I love about this game is that everyone can find something for himself. Some love collecting characters, some are all about the deep storyline and graphics, and I personally just like combating against other live players, stealing all their stuff and ruining their day. But that's just me. The game is free to play. You can enjoy PvP battles in arena, PvE in dungeons, and cool huge boss fights. Personally, I think the game is amazing, but you don't have to just take my word for it. With almost 200,000 reviews, Raid has an almost perfect score at the Play Store. The game is growing super fast, and the highly anticipated new update is now live. And there's a new awesome loyalty reward program for new players. You get a new daily login reward for the first 90 days in the game. You can find me in the game under the nickname Dr. Demolition, and if you're lucky, maybe we could be in the same clan. So what are you waiting for? Go to the description below, click the special link, you will instantly get 50,000 silver and a new epic champion within a week as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck, and I'll see you there. Now let's go hang out with Tavarish and see what he has in mind for his ride. No one's ever given me a Range Rover before. No, no, you see, I'm unlike any other person because I give you an entire car and look at how good it is. So good, it's so good. Tavarish, will you give me and the Demolisha the rundown on why you're giving me this beautiful Range Rover? So this is a 2003 Range Rover and it needs a little bit of TLC because yeah for the last year or so, it had been in a big hole. Buried. Buried. Not just in a hole, underground. Underground, yeah. So it was in 12 feet of mud and dirt and a lot of water. So when we dug it up, water was up to here. Really? Yeah, so I tried <laughs> to get it running and uh, <laughs> I couldn't get it running. So that's why it's here. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get it running. Tavares fixes up cars that need TLC. That's kind of what he does on YouTube. Yeah. And uh, this was one of the project cars that he planned on fixing up, but it was so far gone. You can see that the hood is caved in, the roof is caved in. This is not a pro dude, this is not a problem right Seems here. Seems like this it could be a problem. It definitely is, I agree with you, beyond repair. You haven't seen the best part. You ready? I guess so. Welcome to- I can't even open it. Your new- <laughs> Range Rover. Oh yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I like that seat over there where all the, it's like peeling off. Yeah, a little bit of pink mold growing on there, that's cool. I said it needs TLC. <laughs> so. <laughs> it needs something, that's for sure. Yeah. There's, there's nothing in this car that's salvageable. <laughs> this could... is actually like a quarter of the dirt that was in here. The dirt really? was going up like this. Jeez, because I assume it, it, it probably out. busted the windshields right away and yeah. just poured dirt in. When we, uh, when we dug this out, the windshield was busted in, we can see the water line right here. <laughs> And when we dug it out from the sides, all the water gushed out. Yeah, that's, listen, that's not so bad. It's nice. I've seen a lot of Hollywood movies. Mm -hmm. And I know that if somebody's shooting at you, you can just stand behind a car and you're 100% safe. So uh, you said that's probably not the case. Probably not. Also, I, uh, I invited him out because I wanted him to bring like a Lamborghini or something. And you brought that. It's, it's, the same th it's the same thing, dude. We're gonna test some myths today and uh, see how bulletproof different parts of this Range Rover are because there's literally nothing else we can do with this car besides shoot it. Mm -hmm. That's it. We're gonna start with a 22 long rifle, shoot into the back passenger door. I think it'll go through. It's off and... Ooh, you hear the dirt that... fall? Oh, that was, was that glass or dirt? That sounded like glass. Could have been glass. So that actually made a really big hole for wow. a 22 long rifle. That, that's like a soda can, man. <laughs> right, I hear stuff falling still. Let's see. Oh yeah, so you smashed that glass. Oh, That's what we heard. This is cracking. Come, uh, yeah. come a little closer, you can hear it. And... <laughs> 
Here's Johnny. <laughs> it looks as if your 22 did not go through this thing. Yeah. That glass goes down into here, right? Oh, yeah, so you, right. you hit the glass. Um, you think the warranty is still good? Probably not. Oh, oh no. man. <laughs> this is a 410 birdshot. It's number six shot. We're going to fire that thing at the door. Uh, a lot more power, but it's birdshot. Firing. Wow, that really actually spread it. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way that went through. I, I didn't think it was gonna spread that much, but it makes sense in a tiny little barrel like this. Well, I mean, for now, it's pretty bulletproof. This this car, we could sell this car as a bulletproof car right now. Yeah. As long as we don't shoot it anymore. <laughs> the next 410 shell is this one. It is uh, three little slugs, basically, and then some BBs. A bit more powerful round this time. Ow, that kicked. I think that went through? I think that probably went through, that yeah. has to have gone through. That's not so bad. No, just actually one, okay. Yeah. You'll see police officers stand with their door open like that. Uh, we don't want to be shooting back toward my truck there, so we're actually going to shoot from this way. So it's going to pass through the same things, just a different angle, and we want to see, will a 9 millimeter pistol go through both doors, or no doors? And we in the hole. Tiny little hole. Uh-huh. Here's your exit. Rip, wow. Ripped pretty good. <laughs> Where did it go in? Maybe here, yeah, I think that's your entrance there. Mm -hmm. No exit. No, uh -huh. no pass through so two doors. It wouldn't, wouldn't have gone all the way through. So hide behind two doors, not one. Yeah. And it'll stop. Yes. That's pretty good. But Tavares, <laughs> we brought bigger guns. Did we? We did. That is a nine millimeter, which is what Tavares has shot. This is a 45 ACP. We have a hole right here. Uh huh. An exit wound right here. An entry right there. Right there. I see another entry there. Oh no! <laughs> Nothing. Oh. Hey, maybe they bulletproof the front door. So you can. I I, th I think that's what they did. I really thought that 45 was going through. Tavares. Yes. We still have bigger guns. Do we? We do. Okay. Tavares, you know, I would I would usually say that solid gold is better. Okay. But today. Solid silver is gonna be better. So that one looks a lot bigger. It's a bit bigger. This is the 45 ACP that we just shot out of that. Mm -hmm. This is the 50 AE All right. that goes in this Desert Eagle. Mm -hmm. Very powerful. You may have heard of the Desert Eagle because it is, you know, one of the most powerful semi automatic pistols you can shoot. Mm -hmm. And speaking of you shooting it, I would love to see you shoot it because you have never shot one of these, have you? I have never shot one of those and I am a little bit scared. You got this, buddy. Scale of one to 10, how nervous? Um, eight and a half. Whoa, okay. I believe in you. Oh, I saw dirt on the other side. All right, yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Did it hurt? That was, no. I know, the was, Desert Eagle is fine. It's so good because it's no, huge. No, I'm a complete wuss. I'm, a, I'm, just, I'm just a wuss. It's, <laughs> it's, it's huge, fine. but it doesn't hurt. Like No, 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 not at all. That's what she said. Uh, mm. There, right? Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty big. That's it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Desert Eagle, biggest hole in the back so uh -huh. far. Uh, mm. And? No surprise there. Oh no! Desert Eagle. Ripping, I'm gonna have to take this back to the dealership. Ripping a big nasty hole in the front door too. I think we should shoot it with some bigger guns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't bring it. Oh no, I did. <laughs> this is my Benelli M4. In the chamber we have birdshot. In the mag tube here we have some buckshot. Birdshot first. Buckshot. Oh yeah. Birdshot wow. didn't make it through. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, they don't make them like they used to. Crazy, I thought it would rip through that. The buckshot went straight through. Oh, but it's all stopped in our dirt. Well, we got a, we got a natural berm going on we here. We really do, we have a berm in the back of the Range Rover. <gasps> it's like a gun range, that's why they call it a Range Rover. Oh my I gosh. Tavares actually just made that joke off camera and I just stole it. <laughs> What kind of gun is this? This is an AK chambered in 762 by 39. For those who don't know, rifles such as this fire the bullets much faster than pistols do, even faster than that Desert Eagle. So when they're going faster, they have a much better chance of penetrating and continuing to penetrate deep into the car. And I love some deep penetration. I don't know about you. Uh, I thought this was a family <laughs> channel. All right, ready? Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, giddy up.
Nice groove. All right. Okay. Well, you hit it mostly in the same spot, which is actually better for getting through because it's going to be weaker every time you hit yes. each subsequent shot. You missed our dirt berm, which you were kind of trying to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. if, if you had been aiming lower, we might have stopped him. But yeah. we want to see not just in a car full of dirt how bulletproof it is, but how bulletproof it is in a normal car too. Yeah. Just one? Looks like it looks like another one right here, maybe. Oh yeah, there's one there. Yeah. It's hard. Careful, uh, there's a lot of broken glass around here. I think there's only two that actually made it through this back seat. I'm trying to see if anything made it up here. Or maybe it could have uh, just went out. I don't know. If this car was cleaner, it would be easier to figure this stuff out. If this car was cleaner, it wouldn't be here. <laughs> will, you, will you bring a, a newer Range Rover next time, please? Okay, I will do that. I'll, I'll, do, I'll bring you a newer Range Rover to shoot. Did really? 100%. Nothing hit? Oh, no, that's a bullet hole right there in the that silver trim right there. Right here. One out of your 10 rounds made so, it to so the front. theoretically, if you, if you crouched in front of the car... Oh, 100%. You, you'd be totally good. You got an engine block and all kinds of stuff in between you. Do you have any some anything more high power? <laughs> Please. That is a 50 BMG blue tip, which means incendiary. Uh, we're gonna shoot just kind of in the same spot that he put those AK rounds. I'm gonna go over to the left a little bit and see how far this thing goes. I'm hoping it does not light uh, the car on fire. That would be less than ideal. You ready, Tavares? Yep. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Did you shoot that? I couldn't hear it. Uh, I don't know if it fired or not. Not sure either. Jeez, that's so much bigger. Okay. Okay, Still that went smoking there. A little bit. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. Yeah, boom. Got a nice hole here. Right there. And then through the seat there. Let's go ahead and follow the path of destruction. Hole in the back of the seat there. Okay. Hole in the front of the seat. Uh huh. Hole in the seat. <laughs> hole and in the dash. dash. That's a big old engine. Yeah, yeah. You want it? Mm, it's no, yours. I'm good. Actually, it really is mine. You're not taking this home, are you? You said we're going to fix it. Oh, yeah, we're going to fix it. Yeah, we're going to fix it. What kind of dangerous cow? I can't tell where that bullet went. You've shot a Barrett before. Yes, an M82. And yep. This is not an M82. This right? is an M107A1, mm -hmm. and you've never shot it standing, right? No, this oh, is heavy. You're going to love this. <laughs> You know what I didn't think about? This thing hitting my truck really hard. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, that was my bad. Oh. I didn't, didn't even think about it. It went it's okay. bing! Where did I put this down? With a Barrett, it does whatever it wants. Yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah. We got the old dash hit. Mm -hmm. So that one is in a great place to possibly make it into the engine bay. But did we? Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you missed the You hit Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> you smacked him. That's actually pretty low on the dash, but the engine is so low. You're a foot below the top of the dash, and it still did so not it just, hit it the engine. It just kind of went up like that, like at an angle. Yeah, I guess you're right. It probably yeah. hit some metal inside the dash. Yeah, probably right. Changed the course a bit. We got up in the back of my truck now because we want to try a bit more of an angle so we can hit that engine block. And Tavares may have put some paint cans and soda bottles uh, behind the seat that I'm going to be aiming for. Ready? Oh, yeah. All right. Fire it! Oh. <laughs> Looks like I just hit the soda. Yeah. Uh, I, didn't I think it any, knocked everything else didn't see over. Any paint, but I saw soda die. Yeah, I'd say that was a perfect hit there. Well, it, it washed the interior. Stinky. That was good. You got the armrest arm rest pretty good, and Dang. the dash. That that climate control is not looking so hot. No. Oh yeah, we did. We just went straight through that with a 50. Okay, so that definitely is going towards the engine block. Looks like. I think the climate control probably held it pretty well. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, climate control buttons are bulletproof. Uh huh. Well, there's no way we'll know if we hit this thing. What I can tell you is nothing came through the front. The engine did stop the 50 BMG. That's pretty much it guys. Now Tavares is going to take that thing home and work on it and fix it and make it all look good, right? Uh, I don't think so. Why not? Oh no. <laughs> it is crazy how the glass holds together so well. <laughs> <laughs> well this is how you remove window tint. Mm -hmm. it's, uh... mm -hmm. First you shoot it with a 12 gauge, mm -hmm. then you poke it with a stick. Crazy. So how much do you think this car is worth right now? Right now? Yeah. $200? $200? Yeah. Okay. So let's double that and I will donate that amount to the charity of your choice. My choice? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Fisher House Foundation. Okay, good. Helps Done. helps veteran families. Done. So there we go. So no one feels bad about destroying this. Exactly. So no. Yes. <laughs> Even though you weren't the one who destroyed this, just let's no. be clear. It was. It, it was. I, was an... I inherited this destroyed mess. <laughs> but uh, now we're gonna we're gonna actually do some good. You know, while having some fun too. Perfect. I love it. Yeah. Go check out Tavares' channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. He does lots of cool stuff with the Murcielago, which I'm, that's my favorite car. I think it's you so come cool. You can drive it. We're not gonna shoot it though. I can drive it. Yeah. Don't shoot it. Can we shoot it? I would never actually want to shoot it. I just want to drive it. Thank you guys for watching Demolition Ranch. Now we know what parts of a car are bulletproof and what they're bulletproof against. If someone's coming at you with a Desert Eagle or a rifle, get out of the way. Get out of the, get way. Out of the way. You don't want to be there. If it's a, if it's a, you know, a shotgun or a 22 or a 22, just stand in the way. Be totally confident. Don't, don't probably don't. Do yeah, that don't either. do. You probably don't. get out of the way. Yeah. Whatever it is. At you just. Leave, leave the area. That's a good leave plan. <laughs> Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad car? Bobby! <laughs> I'm a doctor. Ish.